Welcome back to the Multiverses Boot Camp. As always, I'm Big Sour, and today I have some good matches for you. In my opinion, I think Shaggy is one of the best characters, which is kind of funny because he's one of the foundational characters. Normally the foundational characters lack something very big, but I don't feel like Shaggy really lacks anything. He's pretty good in the pocket, he's got great ring out confirms, he's got a little bit of range, and his rage form just enhances his straight up. It doesn't change his moveset as much as someone like Iron Giant, for example. However, the real question of this game is, what is the best duo? This game is all about synergy. Where I feel this game will stand apart is that it's balanced around 2v2. So some characters are straight up not that good in 1v1s. In this first match, I think I found Shaggy's best combo, or maybe one of his best combos, and that's with Superman. Superman covers the range that Shaggy cannot touch, essentially. Shaggy's great in the pocket, and he's great a little bit outside of himself, but Superman, oh man, Superman can dodge so far, Superman can fly and get kill confirms, Superman can go up in the air and use lasers, Superman can hit people from very, very far away, in very unexpected ways. And for that reason, I think they have a really great synergy. Then after that, it's more Shaggy and Superman combo, but this time we're up against a LeBron and a Superman. And unfortunately, our best of three match ends up on the worst map in multiverses. You already know what it is. It's the Mystery Mansion, of course. The Mystery Mansion, it's cramped. It's got two holes in the middle, one funnel on top. You take insane amounts of damage in this map and then get knocked back so far without a chance to recoup. So both of these matches are gonna be Shaggy Superman. First one, really great victory. The second one, a much more competitive loss. But I think we can learn from both of them. Make sure to share it with someone, like it if you like it, comment down below your favorite character, and let's get ready to learn. We like a couple of Superman up here. Watch your head. Oh, I hit him with the sandwich. It did the difference. It actually did the difference. Are you kidding me? Normally the sandwich is just flavor for blocking. Damn, I was just outside of range. Wow, the sandwich, the sandwich. Two times. Nice, dude. The sandwich downs. That was sick. I enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Not only two clips from this match, and it's both of the sandwich downs. But if you pay attention, you notice that the Superman is one who actually enables me to get these kills. He's going around chasing the fin, keeping up with the fin, doing massive amounts of damage and absorbing damage, which allows me to move around on the outside and get the significant strikes which guarantee the knocks. We could interchange both roles depending on how we wanted to do it, but this Superman was using his speed to his advantage. A big part of making this strategy work is having one character fighting hard in the pit, preferably Superman since he's tougher, and having one dancing around on the outside. Lots of times shaggy. So don't be afraid to break from bad situations for a second to get your rage form or to pull out a sandwich. I feel like they could bring it back. I feel like they could learn. It's all about the story. It's about the drama, the stakes. Your character. It's about the sandwiches. Winner takes home all the sandwiches. Shaggy's hungry. 
That cave's security system must be compromised. I lost sight of myself in all that mix-up. I will be honest. Damn. Come on, come on. I can still get the super. Yes. Victory! Superman and Shaggy, the best team. Question mark. Now this clip is just demonstrating the power of Superman. I break my rage charge early because I think the Finn is going for me. He doesn't, fakes me out, but the Superman confirms the kill off of less than 70% health. Now in this clip, I deliberately use Superman as a shield to get a sandwich. A thing I like to do is sidekick sandwich when I'm in a solo match. It generally confirms the kill if you're next to the edge, as your opponent will waste most of their specials trying to get up and then boom, sandwich to the face. But here I reverse it because I'm in a duo. In a duo, it helps to block a charge. And then you follow up with the sandwich to get a really nice knockback. Like what you see? Stop into the stream sometime. Be sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video. The lower health they are, the more viable melee on the ground is. Because you can keep them in a pocket. All mind games, baby. I don't know how my Superman lost on that. That's okay, though. You live, you learn. Ah, damn. Sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> I tried to sneak away with that sandwich. No! What the hell, dude? That's not what I meant to do. Match point. 
blue team. Brandon, tell me good that time. Get out of the pocket, Soups! Oh, God! I should have covered him a little better at the end there. I'll admit. But they were, they were just smashing together, bro. It's hard to get in the pocket when two characters are right next to each other. Early in the match, I'm getting pursued by the LeBron. So I actually use a switch up as a fake out. And I'm able to get quite a significant amount of damage on him. Probably 60. I widen the gap to where he has about two to two and a half times the damage that I do. This moment is very significant and actually leads in a roundabout fashion to our first two eliminations, though it takes a bit longer than it should. Unfortunately, we lost this round because I messed up and fell in the hole, a perfect example of why this map is the worst map. But right here, I used the map to my advantage. When I get in the boxing match with the Finn on the edge, I spike him up on my combo, knowing he will hit the ceiling in a weakened state from my rage, and all according to plan, he gets spiked down off the edge of the map. This guy switched so that he can better Prepare avoid my sandwiches. <sighs> Switching ruins the spirit of the game, man. Let's hope this isn't a never ending match. Oh, was so sick. Blue team. Can't hold back either. Oh. Match point. Red team. Time to go. Blue team is getting low. Ah, nice, dude. That was a good set of matches. GG's to that guy. Or to both of those guys, really. But my Shaggy, my Shaggy's getting strong. Everyone knows that the main gimmick for Shaggy's rage is that it applies weakness to your enemies. But for my money, his down specials are the best way to do this. Primarily because whether you're doing it from the air or on the ground, it leaves a shockwave, which pops your enemies up. It has a lot more synergy with the rest of Shaggy's attacks, and truthfully, people are always expecting the sidekick. I feel like it's a better option. It has a shorter range, but it's much less predictable. 
If you watch back the match, after I hit the Superman with that attack, he was reeling and took so much damage without proper response. Shaggy also has a perk that allows him to get a free rage charge when he hits 100% damage. And as you can see, I use it to hit the same attack again to great effect. The Superman and I last a long time, which puts us at a huge advantage when we finally get knocked. It's two lives versus two lives, but both of the enemies have 100% damage on them, so we make pretty quick work of them. I use the sandwich drop kick pretty effectively, using Superman as my shield to mask my charges, and it works out pretty well. I forgot to put that perk. Damn it, why does it make me select it every time? Just because I'm using the teammate's perk. So when's Bugs Bunny coming to Fortnite? That's my question. If they're in this game, all bets are off now. This place is so creepy! <laughs> Heading sky high. Shouldn't have run in. No. Gotta get up. There we go. Ah, I went right for the sandwich at the wrong time. That is not what I pressed. Well, that is what I pressed, but that is not what I intended to press. I'll tell you that much. Ah, this map. It really is this map. If I'm able to fly up higher... Baked him out right there, straight up on the ledge. Match point, red team. Match point, blue team. Come on. Damn, dude. They came back strong. They came back strong. It was pretty intense. I just hate that map. I feel like that map made the difference right there. I just had less room to move up against them two guys. Them two guys. Now, spoilers, this match ends in a loss, and I'll explain why. We get a huge advantage on the other team in the beginning, getting an almost 70% damage lead. But every time we try to spike them off the map, they hit a ceiling or they get an arc that's low, and that combined with the fact that Superman's very durable and LeBron has pretty good jumping potential means that they last far longer than they should. On any other map, they would have been grabbed by the Superman or they would have been charged out by the Shaggy. This map changes fights, and it changes them for the worse. Guaranteed, this map will never end up in a competitive environment. This next clip illustrates a couple of the most irritating aspects of this map. The primary being that if you get hit up into the ceiling, you're gonna get spiked down back into more attacks. So if you're a lighter character, this map really does not favor you. Being the Shaggy, I'm the lightest character in this match. Here towards the back half of the clip, the holes in the floor actually start to interfere with Shaggy's fighting style. 
This map really favors the characters that they picked, specifically LeBron and Superman, characters that can fly and jump over things. Personally, I don't like when people switch in a best of three. I think the point, especially in casuals, is to test matchups. In a ranked mode, in a land mode, in a competitive mode, I understand switching. But truthfully, I feel like these guys were just picking for the maps. Kudos on them, but I feel like if it was on any other map, we would have won this last round. It's free real estate. Thanks for watching everyone. Drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Peace and love.